In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to end a meeting for everyone in Microsoft Teams. Whether you're leading a team or hosting a virtual event, knowing how to properly conclude a meeting is crucial. So let's dive right in and walk through this step-by-step -step process together. First things first, you'll want to log into your Microsoft Teams account. Simply navigate to the login page and enter your credentials. Once you're signed in, you'll be directed to the Teams dashboard. Here, you can see all the different teams and channels that you're a part of, along with any scheduled meetings you might have. Now let's move on to initiating a meeting. Look for the option that allows you to start a meeting, often located in your calendar or via the Meet Now button. Click on Start Meeting to begin. If you're new to hosting meetings, this might seem daunting, but Teams makes it straightforward and user-friendly, ensuring you can focus more on your agenda and less on the logistics. During the meeting, once you've wrapped up all your discussions and it's time to conclude, you'll need to look for the button that indicates leave. It's typically found at the top right corner of the meeting window. Click on the drop down arrow next to leave. This is a pivotal step because instead of just exiting the meeting yourself, you'll have the opportunity to end it for all participants, thereby maintaining control over the meeting flow and completion. After clicking the drop down arrow, you'll see the option that says end meeting. Go ahead and click on end meeting. At this point, Teams will prompt you with a confirmation message to ensure that you want to end the meeting for everyone. This is an excellent feature as it prevents any accidental terminations. When you're absolutely certain you want everyone to leave, click end again. This second step acts as a safety net, ensuring the meeting doesn't end abruptly for participants. Following these steps ensures that every participant leaves the meeting at the same time, bringing the session to an organized and timely conclusion. This can be especially useful for larger meetings where clarity and structure prevent any misunderstandings. In summary, starting and ending a meeting in Microsoft Teams involves simple, intuitive steps. First, log in and kick off your meeting. When it's time to conclude, opt for the drop down arrow next to leave, choose end meeting and confirm your choice. It's a seamless process that makes managing online meetings efficient. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and gives you confidence in using Microsoft Teams effectively. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.